So Dean, obviously not the result we would have wanted tonight. Do you think we deserved a lot more from tonight's game? I thought it was a very tight game. Um, I thought first half um, we had some exceptional, exceptional opportunities to go and make it one or two. Um, I think they had a good chance at the start of the, right at the start of the first half where uh, Hazy's made a good save. I thought it was a tight game and a good a good uh, a good a good game for our division really, a top game for our division. Uh, two different contrasts in systems, similar styles, but the systems are different. So but look at the end of the day, we've lost tonight because of two errors and then we haven't done enough when we turned the ball over in their half and pressed them and gotten some fantastic opportunities. Idris has missed a great chance at the back post in the first half. Nicky's had basically a one-on-one -on -one where he's miscontrolled the ball where Brundy's reversed the back to him. So we've just got to do better in them scenarios and it's a different game. And obviously the timing of their first goals, absolute killer. And I have seen the second goal back and the keeper should save it. Like you said, a good game of football, I think, you know, despite the scoreline, it didn't look like a, a game that you'd probably put down as a fifth-tier football match. It looked a lot higher than that in terms of performance-wise from both teams. Some good players in both teams. Obviously, two managers that play on the front foot, play with speed, play with energy, um, and two teams that are well-coached, to be honest with you. Um, like I say, the difference in the game, in the end, is the two errors we make. Obviously, that goes for them. And then, uh, But I thought there was a huge refereeing moment in the game. But we've pressed them and the ball's turned over. Blunt, he's got a gash in his shin. Honestly, it's about four inches long. And their goalkeeper's two foot them. It's a it's terrible refereeing. It's a really poor challenge. Not having a go at the lad. He's trying to make a chance to get the ball. But it's a red card and it's a big moment in the game. And I thought the referee uh, didn't have the, the minerals to, uh, to actually execute that. What should have happened there? In a game of fine margins, as you said, in the first half when we got that opening goal, it looked like we were really trying to turn the screw and get that killer second goal. York get the equaliser sort of out of nowhere, really. Yeah, when we are on top, yeah. Like I said, we, just before that, Nicky had an unbelievable chance where he miscontrolled it when he was one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Um, I thought our game plan was right. We just didn't get ourselves further ahead. And uh, Sod's law mark scores against us. Um, so, look, it is what it is. And to be fair to York, they've invested heavily. They've got an excellent manager. And the boy Pierce, obviously, is a killer as well when he gets his chance. Um, so look, all in all, look, we just take our medicine and we have to move on as quick as we can to the next game because uh, none of these games are easy. No matter who you play, whether you play York, Braintree, Forest Green, whoever, Rochdale, no game is easy. But I thought it was a good advert. I was happy with our performance levels, uh, especially sort of for the first really 70 minutes. I thought we were, we were solid, we were strong. And then um, two errors have cost us. No Callum Stead, Tavares or Harry Chapman who are all involved on, on Saturday and not, not involved tonight. Is there a reason for that injuries or um, just a knock? Every one of them are injured. Uh, there's been scans had for Chapman. He's got one on Thursday. There's a scan for Tavares, obviously. We're just waiting for the reading of that scan and for, uh, and for Steady. So massive players for us, huge players for us. So hopefully we have a little bit of luck there and we can get them back sooner rather than later. Nevertheless, like we said, you know, on Saturday games come thick and fast in this league. You know, left, right, and centre. Rochdale make the journey to the Hive on Saturday. What are you kind of expecting the game they'll bring on Saturday? Yeah, they're technical side as well, well coached, uh, play the same system as us. So and they'll have a go. They'll come and try get in our half and get in our face. Um, so it'll be another game. It's another game where I think a club like Rochdale will definitely be the higher ends of the division. So and they've had a good start like ourselves. So hopefully we can get the, the Hive rocking. To be fair, tonight big crowd here tonight. I'd like to see us try to get a few crowds like that so we can make our place a real fortress, which we have done already. So it's a top of the table clash, it teams around the top of the table. So um, we've got to move on really quick. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for your time, Dean.